They had the prom last week. Yeah. Y'all went to prom? My my niece's daughter went with, she's dating a guy from Wahala. So okay. They went to the Wahala. Yeah. Well, but we didn't go to this prom. Yeah. I mean, we've been to prom. Good. Two or three been of them. Seven or eight of them. Good. Yeah. 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 I think I went to, I went to three proms, I think. One, two, three. I might have went to four. <laughs> Back when we drank. Yeah. <laughs> um, Could have been five. I don't <laughs> The uh, so they had the prom, and I, I remember was, taking uh, a girl one time too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had the prom, and I was at Chick Fil A, and there was people in there prom dating, you know. And I thought, well, at Chick Fil A, yeah, mm. they don't, they're not high class no more. They think, oh, let's do the basic stuff. Let's go to you know McDonald's and get in a play place or whatever. <laughs> so, but I noticed because I was waiting on my food, and I'm not doing the Chick Fil A pick curbside no more they forgot me the last two times i had to call them be like hey i'm out here and they're like oh who are you I was like, well all right so now i'm gonna wait in the drive through for 16 weeks but i know because the goodwill as we've established before is across from the chick-fil-a so i have a perfect view of it i seen uh two uh people from the orient to two guys from the orient orientals hop out of a minivan decked out in their prom stuff mm. go into goodwill uh, before you go on how many more people was in that van you think eight no nine? no 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 no. they were uh oriental so they don't travel like uh you know latin people mm. they travel more solo but in pairs yeah i got you <laughs> yeah <Okay>. you know. <laughs> so, they, so they get out and hold on me you said <clears throat> solo in pairs yeah. yeah i'm gonna tell you something that math right there, that ain't mathing. <laughs> no. That don't, that's an indictment on our education yeah. system they right do, there. They do love pears, so I would bet they had a snack with them. So, Papaya, papayas and pears are their favorite. Yeah, pear yeah. salad. Yep. Yeah. They had a pear yeah. salad. Oh, yeah. You know they had that. <laughs> uh, I bet, for their pre-prom dinner. So <laughs> they get out, and they're decked out in their suits, and they go into Goodwill. I'm sitting there thinking, they I've never some- once needed to go into Goodwill. Ever. You think they need some shoes or something? They have. Well, shoes. they in their tuxedos. Yeah. Oh, going in good with their tuxedos, walking barefooted. <laughs> nah, nah, they had the whole get up, mm. and uh, probably their dad's funeral suit, like the one he's going to be buried in. Yeah. Like, oh, you wear this and you're making payments on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, uh, I thought to myself, I wonder what they could have like. At some point, one of them said, so "Pulling hey, this goodwill. Let's run by the goodwill yeah. real quick on the way to prom. <laughs> I need a." Yeah. Use spatula. I need a spatula. I need a crutch. I need one crutch. Yeah. You know, I need a walking boot. That guy had the neck brace. <laughs> I need an undershirt. Hold on. You know, now, now now that you said that, I'm thinking, you know, uh, one little section back there, they got these artificial flowers. Yeah. Did either one of them have a buccaneer on buccaneer? Uh, buccaneer, you, know, you say. Yeah. That was on the side of his bucking yeah. head. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That, that's a Maybe good Maybe that's what they went to get. It could be. It could be that, oh, we forgot flowers and they were respectable they were like hey we're not gonna we're, we're not going like, to the graveyard let's go to the graveyard no. yeah no. when i need flowers goodwill's usually the first thought to come <laughs> yeah. To mind. yeah yeah <laughs> but, well after the graveyard yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you got two you know high school age orients they're not thinking they're not thinking it through they're last minute shoppers you know they're like oh we got to go somewhere <laughs> you know <laughs> kmart's closed and they don't have that blue light space yeah. anymore so yeah so uh i tell you how dumb somebody is one night I was hanging out with some friends and uh, we had ran out of, you know, ABs, alcoholic beverages. And uh, it got late. So liquor stores was closed. And for whatever reason, this person thought, didn't think, hey, let's go to a grocery store or a gas station. They were like, hey, let's run by Kmart. And uh, so once I convinced them, let's go to Kmart. <laughs> they, <laughs> They were like, I think now uh, we're going to find out who the dumbass was. Uh, <laughs> okay. So after spending 30 minutes in Kmart looking for, you know, beer. beer. Yeah. And and asking someone, hey, where's y'all's beer at? And they were like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I was like, well, that's hurtful. You know, so we left, went to a gas station like we should have. Like from you the should start. have in but, the first place. Yeah, but I did that and that, I kind of miss Kmart. <laughs> Speaking of that, 
back uh, a few years ago, back when Mineral was, you know, mm -hmm. traveling around. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'd been out one night, and uh, it got kind of late, and so I said, I'm going to get me something to eat. So we pulled in McDonald's, mm -hmm. Min and Min, Min Earl went in, and uh, Earl went up to the counter there, up to the bar, and mm -hmm. says, uh, could I have rum and coke? And the lady says, sir, this is McDonald's. And Earl said, well, could I have a Mick rum and coke then? <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get did, no food or nothing. Uh, okay, I was going to say, did you get no, one? No, or? no. We couldn't get a French fry. Well, and you know, the thing that I hate about it is, is McDonald's, they should have just been more pleasant about it. At least gave you the Coke part. Yeah. You know, yeah. but they're just assholes. No, a lot of people that work fast food nowadays are just jerks. Well, I got I got an issue with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And, I, I, you know, I didn't, didn't do science, so I can't prove it. But right. We, me and Jared stopped there a few weeks ago because we was in West Union. Had to run into Ace Hardware and get some cement blocks or something. I don't remember now. Anyway, so let's just run over here to McDonald's and grab something for lunch, and then we'll go on about our bid, putting in damned old well pump. Well, I ordered a quarter pounder. Yeah. Well, I just don't believe it's a damn quarter pound anymore. Right. That dang patty was about as thin as a dime yeah. <laughs> and about as big around as a quarter. Yeah. But they sold it to me as a quarter, quarter pounder. pounder. You yeah. think it's more like a tenth pounder? I mean, it's more like it's a 164th pounder. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if they weigh it after they load it down with all that bullshit they put well, on yeah, it. I, don't think, I still don't think it was a quarter pound. Yeah. The whole thing wasn't much bigger around than a half dollar. Yeah. Well, they're getting slack, and they're charging more for them. Oh, yeah. It was $14 is, or something to get out of there. Right. It's just absurd. I'll tell you what else is absurd. I went to Ingalls the other day, and... Uh, well, that's enough said right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was the one over in Westminster, so you know it was... A, yeah, damn, yeah, that's the one I have to go to. Right. But I parked on the side to kind of, you know, be away from most of the meth users. Hold on. Let me ask you a question before you go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember... A few weeks ago, a few yeah. months ago, me and you talking. We was in here talking. Yeah. And you got molested by a duck. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. Well. Was that the same, about the same parking place? Uh, different angles, but oh, well. similar story. Uh, so uh, I'm going in just to get a couple things, and I, I noticed that once I park, I'm like, ah, shit, I shouldn't have parked here because there's a horse trailer <laughs> nearby. And you know how I feel about horses. So I'm just – you know doing my thing going in well when i come back out some guys got his horse out of the trailer at angles yeah mm -hmm. in the parking lot mm -hmm. i'm thinking what are they doing pony rides or something so i walked by and he was like hey you doing i was like hey man he's like i just got her out stretching her legs i was like i hate her <laughs> you know <laughs> just kept moseying on your legs off <laughs> yeah, so then as i'm walking by you know and he's got it on a damn leash or whatever you know a big one so it's probably 40 feet away from him, just walking, you know. I'm thinking, e I think you're supposed to hold him pretty close if you're just <laughs> trotting him about. But I don't know because I hate him. So so I walk by him, and then I walk down the 40 feet to the horse. leash, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the horse is there. So I'm walking by hurling some slurs at it, and um, it kicks, <laughs> right? I guess it was stretching its leg for real. It kicks, kind of toward me. Before I knew it, I done whipped out my knife. Pow, pow, pow. I got him seven times. Boy. Mm. Yeah. Right in the, the horse's legs are different. Horse's legs go, the, our legs bend like this. They they bend the opposite way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they real good at running backwards. Yeah. So they're like, uh, so when they lay down, you know, when we lay down, I can't do it because there's not enough space, but... <laughs> When horses lay down, you know, they do it in a different way. <laughs> so so uh, I caught this horse, and I would consider, like, between the hip and the knee, you know, on his back leg that he kicked with, kick, 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 yow, you know, with my knife. Mm -hmm. And um, he died. Mm. <laughs> you know, well, le he died later when they had to put him down. When you shot him in the head? Somebody <laughs> did. If I'd have had my piece on me, I probably would have just shot him. I had a did friend. Did the guy from the meat market come running out there? Uh, the, no, that one guy who walks everywhere came running out there. 
Uh, Cliff. Yeah, he came out there. And I've never heard that guy say a word in my life. He came out there and he was like, well. And that was it. That was all he said. Yeah. And the guy who had the horse, he was pissed. He wanted to damn get in a fight with me now. I told <laughs> him, I said, bitch, that. I got a yeah. knife. <laughs> I don't think you want this smoke. Look at your horse bleeding out over there. <laughs> and it was a, it was somebody had given me one of those little Swiss Army knives that you give children, you know, the little tiny one. Somebody gave you one. Yeah. <laughs> as a Christmas gift a couple <laughs> years ago. With the children. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that was all I had. So, I mean, I got him good, you know, but I didn't get him deep. Uh, and uh, so he had death by a thousand cuts yep seven actually <laughs> you know seven at a bullet so i guess they figured he wasn't gonna make it i thought hell you could have put a damn band-aid in that and he'd have been fine but don't we, take we your horse had a friend Angles. that uh, had a horse and uh he stumbled or fell or something they thought he broke his leg yeah. and you know if you break your leg you have to put him down you know right, you, right. You shoot him so yeah but this guy he wasn't too smart so he shot him with a shotgun in the neck so then he had a horse with a broke leg and a wound from a shotgun. Damn. You know, so. Yeah. If you go shoot a horse, how do you kill it? Do you just put it like right behind its ear, its ear, and shoot through its head? Or yeah, you like shoot right through it. the butthole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going to See if it go all the way up. <laughs> yeah. Come out of his nose or something. <laughs> yeah. I saw that one time. My buddy, uh, his dad was a vet you know and a cow got stuck in some mud or something and uh, he shot him behind the ear because <laughs> he got stuck in the mud yeah Deep your ass yeah <laughs> watch where you're walking well that's my thing i couldn't I, I would never work on a farm one you know but two i would angle it to be you know it would be a they'd make a movie about me later or write a book <laughs> yeah. because i'd be the guy that when i got if i had to go work on a farm that had horses i'd be like hey you know i i've done some things in my life i don't mind putting these things down when they need to be put down you know <laughs> and not a lot of people volunteer for that i don't think i think it's like a let's draw straws and see who has to do it you know i'm raising my hand like, well, hey, yeah see most people that work on a farm are there because they like the animals yeah, and they, right, right. you know they want to take yeah. care of them but it wouldn't work for me because you know you I'm, don't like them Right, and because yeah, which one can I kill today? <laughs> yeah, well, that's my thing. It, like as we've established, horses lay down different than we do. If I see, if you you've established, yeah. If I see a horse laying down, I immediately assume he's dying. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah. The, sa the same guy that uh, shot his horse with a shotgun. Yeah. He had another horse that was lazy as hell. And that horse, he would. He'd lay on the ground out there all the time. Mm -hmm. He'd lay like a dog. Yeah. You know, horses don't know when to do that. Right. But this horse, and he, and it was on 24 out there, and, it, and right beside it was the fence and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, this horse go out there and lay down. Yeah. Well, people people know horses don't lay down like that, and people stop and say, your horse is dead out there. Your horse is dead. So finally, he got a sign and put up on the fence. Horse is not dead. He's asleep. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know well it's good that that horse died yeah i was gonna say it's good that that happened in he the laid past. out there about a week and a half because uh <laughs> his buddy is on the side of the road <laughs> he was a cow outside the fence yeah <laughs> yeah and they didn't make it <laughs> yeah if that had been me i'd have rode by and saw him i'd have been like oh man i gotta go put him out of his misery they're like he's sleeping like mm, still <laughs> he's fixing to go to the big sleep yeah yeah, he's sleeping on the ground right now. He's going to be sleeping in heaven here in a few minutes. Or hell, they probably go to hell, I bet. <laughs> Ain't no damn horses in heaven except that one, that, that white one. Flicker. <laughs> yeah. Or Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed might have went to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear him hearing cuss or anything, did you? Nah, no. <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. He probably did go to heaven. <laughs> um, I bet he did off camera. Oh, <laughs> well, you God. Got, you got a point. Those idiots. Cuss like a sailor, I yeah. bet you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you seen those, uh, what are they? Oh, those, uh, the people with riding around in busted cars. You've seen them. Yeah. In what? Like just junky trash busted cars. Busted ass cars, you yeah. know. Oh. You know, you ain't got no finger me? on it no. or, you know, they riding on the spare, the donut spare for, yeah. you know, you've Six seen them about eight oh, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. Ride by three tire shops on yeah. that yeah. damn spare. Yeah. 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 I saw one that had, or we might've saw the one. There was a guy who had a broke door handle, you know, so he either had to get in NASCAR style or through the passenger seat he had instead of apparently the inside door handle didn't work yeah that's what he had, he had so he a, couldn't get out yeah you know 
Yeah. He could get in, but he couldn't get out. I understand. So, so he had to get been out. Been there, done that. And, get and out he was a bigger fella, stuff. too. Yeah. So they wouldn't know him climbing across the seat console and getting out the other side, you know. No. He'd get stuck. Yeah. And, uh, but we saw it, and he had it rigged up where he had had a string ran to the, <laughs> outside, the outside where he just pulled through the it window. and it would open, you know, so he could get out. And I thought, just get your damn door handle fixed. String's a lot cheaper. It's a good point. Also, mm, you got to fly in here. Get away from me, you little bastard. <laughs> if, if, you telling me? Yeah. If I had that issue, <laughs> I would get my door handle fixed or just get rid of the car. It's a pile of shit anyway. So <coughs> why you want to keep it? I get well, that some people don't have that Well, you got to put it all luxury. into perspective yeah. now. The You're reason right. they're driving that thing in the first place is they may not be financially able Good point. to get it fixed or to get a different vehicle. So Good point. You got to got to step back a step and think just a minute. You know? And and you listen, think like they think. You yeah. know, new door handle over here is fifty two dollars. Fifty-two dollars worth of mess. It's a whole lot of mess for me. Yeah. So I can go like two days. Yep. You know, or I can get a new door handle. I believe I go over here for two days. Oh yeah. You know. Yep. Yep. And find me a piece of string. Mm-hmm. Give me a bit. Take my shoelaces out. I can steal a piece of string. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't steal a new door handle, but <laughs> I, I don't know how to fix my own. So. Yeah. Hey, they, uh, people are. You would tell a story about when you was the Ingles and the duck. Oh, you at, it wasn't a duck; it was a horse. Wasn't yeah, it was a horse. Horse got after you. Yeah. If I was you, I wouldn't go to Ingles. Like, all kind of wild animals coming up on you. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like I attract them. Mm-hmm. I'm not attracted to them. I'm just saying they're there when you I. You might be attractive to them. <laughs> that could be. Could be. I remember one time when I uh, was going to ride a horse, and. Uh, well, let's not talk about this. I hate horses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just stupid. They're You're being punished for what? Well, uh, evidently being fat because they were <laughs> like, hey, here's your horse. And it was. It didn't look like it was a fat guy horse. It looked like it was a sick horse. Mm-hmm. Well, right. you know the Kentucky Derby's today. Oh, yeah. Talking about horses. Oh, First okay. Saturday in May every year. I, okay. That's why I figured. That's where I thought you might yeah. be going with your horses. Is, yeah. You know, you'd like to be at the finish line with Kentucky Derby picking them off oh, when yeah. they come by. Right as, they, as soon as they do the thing where they let them out to shoot, mm-hmm. I just start shooting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of horses, yeah. Uh, That'd be a news story right there. Oh, yeah. Mass mm-hmm. shooter at the Kentucky Derby. How many that, people did he kill? Not a soul. <laughs> nine Eleven horses. horses. Nine horses. <laughs> you know, but... There's uh, my grandma and grandpa, you know, and and back then they had horses. I mean, you know, they rode horses. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't ride they them to town or nothing, but, you know, they rode them on the farm. And uh, my grandma had her horse, and my grandpa had his horse. And, and, and then, listen, it wasn't like they put saddles on them and a saddle blanket and combed his hair before they rode. None of that shit. They just got on their horses and rode. They had yeah. a big farm. They'd ride around the farm well. They got on one Saturday and went riding out through the field out there, and my grandma's horse bucked her off. Mm. It's what Nanny now, was it? Yeah. Nanny, oh, oh Lord, Nanny. Bucked Nanny off, and Nanny said, mm-mm, mm-mm, we ain't gonna have that. Papa said, Are you all right? She said, yeah. She jumped back on him, went riding some more, and it wasn't just a few minutes, bucked, her, bucked Nanny off again. Mm-hmm. Papa jumped off his horse and said, are you all right? What's what's going on with your I said, I don't know. He said, uh, what did you tell him back there when he bucked you off the first time? I told him, I said, that's one. Well, I seen you wish him in his ear this time. What did you tell him this time? I told him, I said, that's two. Mm-hmm. Well, they climbed back on, went down, sprang down there, and bucked her off again. Cool. On any road, wasn't pulling up with that. Yeah. On any road, pull a little pocket pistol out of her pocket. Pow! Shot the horse right in the head. Amen. Well, Papa dropped off the freight now. Why'd you shoot the horse? The horse is valuable. You know what Nanny Rose said? No, no. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine he didn't push his luck on two. No, I, I, no yeah. he, he never went for yeah. two. No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame her one bit. I knew that's that's where it, it's hereditary. Isn't yeah, that what it yeah, means? Yeah. 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 Uh, Speaking of hereditary. I'm just glad it wasn't hereditary in horses because they'd had to walk back. So, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, hair's not like a hot commodity in our family. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, 
it's uh, hard to come by. So, <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I noticed the other day that uh, I was doing something, and I was uh, I was flying down. The, uh, no, I wasn't. Where was I at? I had been flying down. The, oh, I was back at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> this, mm. the, yeah, I had to take notes on it because a lot of shit happened that day. So I saw the two Orients run over to the uh, – and I don't want to call them Asians because I don't know for sure if they're from Asia or, but they were Oriental in nature. Did you see them come out? And did they have anything with them when they came no, no, out? No, no, no. I, I was going to hang out to see what happened, but by the time you know I had to call Chick Fil A and they, thirty minutes later they brought me my stuff. I was like, look, I, this is already cold. I got to get home. You know, mm. so I should have waited, but I didn't. But the guy pulled up beside me in his uh, pickup truck. It's a pretty nice truck. So I was kind of peeking at it and saying, hey, it's a nice truck, you know. Then I noticed that he had to, must have had the AC wide open in his truck because it was kind of, you know, blowing his hair, you know. And I thought, that's a telltale sign. And if you've got enough hair to where you turn the AC on high and it blows it, you know, you gay. <laughs> you gay or a girl. You gay yeah, or a right, girl. Right, right, right. Just, just for the men's side, you know, yeah. women's different. Yeah. But if you're a man and you got enough hair that you cut the AC on high and it blows it, you know, you're a gay man. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I hate to tell people that. but Yeah, that, that, that needs to be written down. That exactly. needs to be an official rule. Yeah. What, what we need to do is come up with a damn your boy's rule book. Yeah. You know, what and see if anybody do? will buy it. You know, I doubt it. But. We would. Well, we we would buy it. We want a free copy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. yeah we, we'd have the manuscript from the um, first one. Maybe not manuscript. What did Hitler call his book? He wrote a book. Mein Kempf. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't that mean manuscript in Chinese? No, that means my struggle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Manuscript in Chinese. You think yeah. Hitler was Chinese? <laughs> I don't know, man. That haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that mustache and hair cut. He, he got a point. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really think about it that way. <laughs> you know, every time I've ever heard him say something, though, I thought, that doesn't sound like Mandarin. <laughs> you know? But I don't know Mandarin, so hell, it could be. Who knows? <laughs> Have you seen the, uh, they advertise them on TV sometimes, the debit cards for children? Yeah. Okay. I know. I saw an ad the other day for one, and it was a, uh, I forgot what it was called. It was like a Greenwich or something. It sounded kind of uh, Jewish, but it was a debit card for children that uh, you could put like the parents can like put chore money on or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. But the debit card has a picture of the child on the front. And I thought, well, hopefully the kid knows what he looks like if you're giving him a damn debit card, mm -hmm. you know, so they won't lose it. But then I thought, well, why would they do that? The only reason I could come up with is for, like, verification purposes because a seven-year-old runs up in a Dollar General and says, hey, let me swipe my card. You're like, eh. is it your card? Yep. You know, shows a picture. This is me. Yeah. This is me. Where's your parent? Well, they gave me this. It's got my picture on it, so you know it's mine. And at home, I walked here. Yeah. Where do you live at, Westminster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I thought that could be a uh, – if the kid gets kidnapped, you mm -hmm. know, at least they'll have some negotiating money with the pedophile. Yeah. At least the I'll pedophile know who they are. If they take Venmo. Yeah. 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 If they got one of the little card readers you swipe on yeah. your phone, you know, hey, I have $11 in my bank account. <laughs> and the pedophile's like, you have a bank account? I thought you were a kid. <laughs> that's the only reason I got you. <laughs> well, you know, that's a good thing to, to teach kids a little bit of. Yeah. Because a lot of kids nowadays are idiots. Oh, they ain't got a clue about finances. They think it's yeah. just ask mom and daddy and yep. you know, it shows up. Yeah. It was like that time me and Josh needed shoes. Dad sat us down and said, listen. That one time y'all need shoes. Yeah. yeah. The, that one that, time. That, that one month. month. Yeah. That one month y'all need your shoes. Dad said, listen, y'all are fat. These aren't going to make you jump higher or run faster. You know, so can't do it. Use your old shoes. Yeah. Yeah. These damn Jordans ain't going to make uh -uh. you jump higher. Nope. But I did. I thought, this is weird. I don't, you know, when we were kids, no, no child had a debit card. But I guess that's, like you said. No child had a phone. Venmo it. Or, when y'all were kids. No. <laughs> well, yeah, you dealt in cash. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. And now, I, I mean, I very rarely care, you know, carry any cash now. So I hope if I get kids. I very rarely don't carry cash. Yeah. We from the old school. Yeah, yeah. 
you know yeah. if i get if i get less than a hundred dollars on me i i start to panic mm-hmm. not i wouldn't say panic but it's yeah. like well, hell, I, I better replenish get money <laughs> yeah well that's good because we learn something mm-hmm. you know and then it's, it's changing <laughs> believe me but when you want to buy something and you can negotiate yeah if you got that cash yeah it speaks louder than that debit card for sure <laughs> you start throwing hundred dollar bills or twenty dollar bills on the table yeah. you, you can yeah. you can negotiate you only got one card and be like what do you think about this they're like i think it's still less price mm-hmm. uh, well shit but i'm just i was thinking that i hope if i get kidnapped they take they have those card readers too i don't have my picture <laughs> on there but you know i think my slight gray goatee if you get kidnapped i'm not a child you know <laughs> If you were to get kidnapped, yeah, okay, me and Earl, we've talked about this and we figured this out. Mm-hmm. We know okay. what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. He's gonna stake out Bojangles, mm-hmm. Hardee's, and Wendy's because they're close together. Yep. All right. And I'm gonna stake out Chick Fil A, Burger King, yep. McDonald's, right? Because they're close together. Yep. Okay. We'll we'll find you with Oh yeah. Because that's the first thing you gonna tell your kidnapper. I'm, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Give me something to eat. Yeah. You know. Can we stop and get a snack? Yeah. <laughs> Like, we got a long trip ahead. We're going to Mexico. I'm like, surely there's a Burger King on the way. You know, I'm going to need a Happy Meal. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to suggest Burger King just because I know that there's going to be some kind of altercation where they're going to mess something up, you know. So that's going to give me a little time to like, hey, I can get you out here. You make a breakaway yeah. right there. No, in my luck, the damn interior door handles aren't going to work because I talk shit about them. So just trying never going to get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all put the Didn't window Burger down. Burger King used to have the. What was it, a fork and a knife or a fork and a spoon as a door handle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. King? Yeah. Yeah. I do Some other that. restaurant does that now. Who was that? And I thought, well, they still got them down at the diner. I go buy it. Spark <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I thought, just get real door handles, you idiots. Well, that's the thing. There's no more play places. They took them away. And that's probably what's contributing to a lot of this, you know, childhood suicide rate. Mm-hmm. You, get, you don't get to go to a play place. It's just when it's I was all a kid, over. Yeah. If mom took us to, you know, get a happy meal and for some reason we went inside, we didn't give a shit about the food. We going straight to the damn jungle gym, you know, the ball pit. Nowadays kids are like, Hey, can we go to the play place? And the mom's like, No, I gotta go do drugs. Mm-hmm. Kids are like, I'm gonna kill myself. You know, we said the same thing, but we well, don't were bitches. Do we play wasn't place. really gonna do it. <laughs> you know, nowadays kids kids are getting ballsy, they'll do it. Just mm-hmm. to prove a point. Mm-hmm. Like, damn you only get to prove that point once yeah there was I a like to prove different points at different times so I yeah can, yeah i'm not really like a final point kind of guy yeah not me but there's a place over in uh not near here that's called small wonders and uh i rode by it and i thought this is weird what is it so i, and I looked on the sign and it said uh you know small wonders we're going to get back into midgets again, ain't we? Where I see That's what I thought. That way. I thought it was a place for, like, curious He's talking about them Pendleton now. Yeah. Uh, you're Michelin out there. I seen it, too, yeah. and I thought the same thing. Small wonders. Mm. I thought it was a place for curious midgets to go learn or go yeah. do stuff. And it's for children who are advanced. Artistic. Huh? <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> oh. you know, they're ahead of the curve. Oh. You know, they're not well, studying the Well, that is a wonder, the then, yeah. <laughs> so, uh I kind of staked it out for a little bit, hoping, hey, maybe I'm going to see a midget run up out of here and, you know, real full of knowledge, <laughs> just spouting off new words. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a kid with a debit card, weren't you? <laughs> well, those are the kids coming out of there. A lot of Asian kids came out of there. Sorry, uh, Oriental kids came out of there. And uh, I didn't know if it was like a – I didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. you know. But after about three hours of watching it, I said, I better get out of here. People are going to think I'm a damn pedophile. <laughs> you know. So I did. I took off out of there. But they had, it was like in a, um, what do you call those things with a lot of buildings in there? A strip mall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought, we going to put a learning place in here for? Because there was an advanced auto parts on one end. <laughs> Teach uh, them how to work on cars. A Mexican restaurant th- in between them. Then small wonders. Then a uh, hair salon for African American people. And then on the other end, it said um, something Institute of Speech. You're going to need it to be able to talk to somebody. Well, I thought, you know, well, what are you doing in there? Are you just learning how to, like, public speak? Or is it like a night class for college? And 
It's not. It's a learning place for kids who don't speak well. And I thought, well, what is, what is school for? Like, mm-hmm. if you if you can't figure it out at school, and you got to go pull overtime at a speech place, yeah, remedial speech. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the basic things. I mean, and if your kid got in an accident or has some kind of uh, lysdexia or whatever, and they can't do it, then sure, you know. But if you just said, Jeffrey, you sound like a dumbass. We got to take you over here. You know, if you do it, you can't talk, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's face it. I can't understand a word you're saying, Jeff. Yeah. You got to go over over here. So I went in there after I got my uh, new gas cap and uh Could they understand tacos. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I went in, and, and, you know, because uh, I don't remember why I went in, but I went in and I asked, I said, what is it? What is this? Is this affiliated with the Small Wonders? And they were like, no, no, that's for children, not midgets. I said, mm. well, is this for midgets? <laughs> They're like, no, no, it's for anyone who needs, you know, speech uh, therapy. therapy. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. And so this, the, and they, it was like a, so in a shopping center or whatever you said. Strip mall. Yeah. So it's not like a, oh, hey, here, come back to this classroom. We'll do it. Well, you just walk in. There's just people sitting at desks, you know. So I walked in mid class. And there you was. Sit a, down and what happened? <laughs> no, I just, there was a little like desk at the front with a lady. And the lady was very nice, but she should have been in the class. Mm. She stuttered. Yes. Stuttered. She did. And I was like, she's trying to tell me what it is. And I'm like, you spit know, it out. Spit yeah. it out, Junior. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, about halfway through her trying to explain it, I was like, all right, I got to go. My tacos are done. <laughs> you know, I got to go back down here. And uh, she's trying to tell me, oh, thanks for stopping in. Like, I was, you know, you shouldn't be thanking me, mm. you know, but. So after I got out of that damn 45-minute hide-and-go stutter match <laughs> with that desk lady, my tacos were cold, but whatever. You ate them anyway. You ate them anyway, did yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> spe- you, speaking of like strip malls and stuff, you know, I want you to think about this, okay, because it's absolute truth. Mm-hmm. And if you find one, take me to it because I want to see it because I've never seen one. Mm-hmm. If you go to a food line, I promise you, somewhere within 250 feet of that food line, there's a Chinese restaurant in there. Oh, 100 Name me one that don't have a Chinese restaurant. Well, Just I, name me one. Well, I can't, I can't say I could do that. Well, I they, they, I don't know if uh, food line has interest in the Chinese restaurants. I don't know if the Chinese restaurants had interest in food line, but you can't name me one. No. No, it's they go hand in hand. I wonder if it's like a package deal. Well, it might, uh, something. Yeah, because everyone. I wonder if you have to be like a. Uh, it's like a diversity panel, you know, because that's what they're talking about on the news all the time now. Mm-hmm. So they're like, hey, we're gonna put up a food line. They're like, all right, you know, where's what, the Chinese restaurant gonna be? Yeah, what are you gonna put in the other three spaces? They're like, well, there's four spaces actually. Yeah, one of those is gonna be a Chinese restaurant, you know. But what are you gonna do with the other three? They're like. Well, we weren't really planning on doing a Chinese restaurant. We're like, mm, well, yeah, yeah, you are now. Are too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want a food line, you kind of have to. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to have a pack mail in there, too. Yeah. yeah. You know. So, a pack mail. That's or, two of them done. Yeah. You know. Speech therapy yeah. class. Yeah. 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 It's it's probably wonder. Teach you know, karate you out go. of the other See, one. you got your strip mall built right and, there. But my thing is, is when they do those, so they do the food line, then they have two and two, right? They have the Chinese restaurant on the end, the pack mail the speech therapy and small wonders slash you know and then the other end they're teaching taekwondo why would you not put the chinese thing in the the restaurant just and the make taekwondo one tree together up. yeah and make like a door between them well there's a there's an art that you see you mm-hmm. want the foot traffic from going from one to the other to okay. pass by them other stores and maybe they'll dive in and get a little something on Good their point. way and Good if point. you're real smart it's psychotic yeah. you know and these are real smart people put a liquor store on the end oh yeah you know yeah yeah, and if we d- know where we find you, then we'll be- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I was gonna say, you know, these uh, these these people that go into the small wonders and the speech, they they gonna go to the liquor store. Oh yeah, they got to. Yeah. Or uh, they're they're they got mom and dad gonna put them into small wonders, and then they gonna go to the liquor store. One mm-hmm. of the two. Somebody's gonna use it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they could do it like you said. They, there's a strategy to it. They could do it like, um, what could they do it like? They do it like uh, taekwondo. Chinese restaurant, 
Asian restaurant. Let's be politically correct. Once. On the, uh, the food line. Other side, speech therapy, and then the pack mail. You go get your exercise. You go get your dinner for sure. the night. You go get your groceries for the week. You go learn how to speak good English. You know, because if you were real fluent in those first two buildings, you need to stop by here. Yeah. Hit the pack mail <laughs> to send some shit back to your family in the Orient, and then hit the liquor store to just wash away your woes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you good? You good for the week then? Aren't you? Yeah. And if you do it in that wash order, away your woes. <laughs> yeah. If you do it in that order, <laughs> Oriental people love it because they love school and shit. And oh learning. yeah. So. They they love reading is what I meant, and uh, but that that's a good that's making me think. When you read Chinese, don't you read? <laughs> I it? don't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think you read it backwards. So I think how we read from the left to the how right. We, how, how would you know? <laughs> yeah, I think they read it from the right to the left. So what I said, you might have to flip it. Taekwondo goes down here. Chinese restaurant, food line, what the other stuff? Well, now listen, you know that's not a big deal. Yeah. You know, reading right, left, left, right. Yeah. You know, like if they read our books, they just turn them upside down. Yeah. Good point. And read the other way. So, yeah. I had a. Only late... problem with that is they, you know, they know the end of the book before the first one. Yeah. But, you yeah. Know, <laughs> other than that, I mean. I had a uh, lady send me an email last week and it said uh, it was in Chinese. And normally they're pretty good about just going ahead and translating it for you. Well, I guess this was a quick one. Hey, you know, shit's happening. We can lock down. Help, <laughs> you know, or whatever. <laughs> help. So, Send so help. <laughs> she sends me the email, and I take it to, you know, I don't read Chinese either. So I copy and paste it to Google Translate. And it was, it should have read, hey, here's your part number. Here's your price. You're welcome, you know, or thank you, or whatever. And it said, shit's getting bad. Everything's locked down. Need baby food. <laughs> so, being the astute man that I am, I typed out a response, took it to Google Translate, put it in Chinese, sent it back to her. And when I apparently there's a good translation from Chinese to English, going the other way is a little sketchy. Because mm. she said, you know, hey, it's getting bad. We're locked down, need baby food. I said, wow, that sucks. When is my product going to be ready? I don't have any children, you know. And basically what Google translated it back was, damn it, oh no, F your kid. Mm. And I was like, that's not what I said. (laughs) In my heart, that wasn't what I said. (laughs) And so now we have to find a new supplier for one of our lines. <laughs> and you're looking for a job, right? <laughs> yeah, I will be soon once once it catches up to, you know, and upper management. a Chinese woman's teaching you a lot of curse words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's how I'm going to, I'm going to blame it on that. I'm going to be like, hey, she started it. <laughs> you know, she was the one doing, not doing a good job of translating stuff. And You know how all them, uh, especially Chinese, Koreans come over here and I mean, you know, they pick up our language pretty quick. Yeah. I couldn't go to Chinese to pick up our language pretty quick. I no. Uh, no. I couldn't. Uh-uh. Well, I mean, and I, if I went over like when I was two, when I was about 42, yeah. I'd still say thank you and yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And, you yeah. know, that's all I could say probably. Yeah. Um, I learned a uh, Korean word the other day, or Korean uh, Korean phrase. Kia. Hung chow. No, it was um, hot job or something like that. Hot job. <laughs> and uh, I had to ask a, fr- a Korean friend what it meant, and they said, uh, "Don't do it." And uh, that's what it really means. He told me it means, "Hi, how are you?" So now, anytime I see, I mean, let's just call it what it is. Anytime I see a Oriental person, I'm like, "Hachab," and they all look at me like, because I think I'm telling them, "Hi, how are you?" And what I'm actually telling them is, don't do it. <laughs> do you get that off Google Translation? <laughs> no, my friend Lee did it. Oh. He told me. <laughs> well, he said, your friend Lee? Yeah. That don't even sound right, does <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he told me straight up. That's like, you know, all these Indian people, they Patels. Yeah. That's a damn lie. 
Right. Yeah. And nothing. all these Chinese Koreans, they, their first name is Lee. Yeah. No, it's not. Right. He ain't never been Lee. No. I would rather learn their Chinese or, what was the first one? Korean. Yeah, or Indian name. Yeah. I'd rather learn that. Like, hey. Yeah, but you, it looks so funny when you write out, because you got like seven consonants together with no yeah. vowels in yeah. there, you know? Yeah, right. And you really, in your mind, you're training, you don't have a way to pronunciate that because right. you're expecting a vowel in there. Well, I'm not going to write them a letter. I was just going to say like, hey, you know, like the guy at the gas station, Randy? Yeah. You know? Which is not his real name. No. We not even. his real name. Yeah. I'd rather him tell me, hey, my name is Christian Bob, mm-hmm. instead of me just saying, what's up, Randy? <laughs> and him hating me. This this is a jet cool Westminster, that yeah. guy in there. We call him Randy because his name is Ranushka Poosh or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah. see, that's why, because you you know it, you still can't say it. No, that's <laughs> That's how we came up with Randy. We went in one day. <laughs> And uh, it was convenient then because we lived out that way. So that was a gas station you'd stop at. And uh, Dad went in one day and was talking to him. And I didn't know that they had already had interactions, you know. So I went in and he kind of put two and two together after we told him, hey, you know, we went in together. I asked my dad. And that's how he put it together. (laughs) He's he's smart. He's a stoop like (laughs) Yeah. So uh, one day I went in by myself and I asked him, I said, hey, man, what's your what's your name? And uh, he said, Randy. And I said, no, 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 no. What's your, your real name, your Indian name? I said, I don't want to call you just some bullshit name. I said, I don't call you by your name. I said, my name's Caleb. That's what it says when I was born, you know, I think. So you can call me Caleb and instead of, you know, fat boy or whatever you think. <laughs> and uh, I said, I'll call you by your real name. And that's what he said, uh, Rich Nick or something. <laughs> and I said, say it slower for me. Just I want to get it right. I don't want to butcher it. You know, and so he said, uh, Rishnika Schnurbin. And I said, okay, Randy. See you later, Randy. I said, yeah, I'm going to call you Randy because that name's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> okay, Randy. Yeah. So, uh, the reason all the, uh, Chinese and uh, Korean people, their name, first name Lee. Yep. Because when they start learning language, that's the easiest to spell. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the first thing you learn. I, I got to write my name. Change the L, L- two E's. E's, you're good. Yeah, that's right. Make three E's and take away two two stripes. You leave. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, but and I love them, man. I mean, I don't love them, but I don't not like them. Mm-mm. You know, I like all people. I don't ha- have a hatred for many people. You know, and I like learning about new things because I like. It's, I always go back to food, you know, but I like trying new foods. So, I like learning. You know, like with Randy, I wanted to learn his name so I could address him. You know, as a, in a friendly way. You know, instead of just calling them some bullshit rant. Like, bro, they couldn't have gave you, like, a better name than Randy? <laughs> Randy's that guy who – Randy's Randy is uh, Muttley. That's his name. Mm-hmm. The guy who looks like Muttley uptown in Wahala. Yeah. That's, his name's Randy. I only found that out because I was in the gas station one day when he was in there stealing something, and they were like, Randy. Put it back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I thought his name was Muttley. <laughs> so he got a little arm, too. Or it's not little, but it's it is littler than the other one. And Why you hold your hand like that? That's how it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, is is it little or is it uh, configured? That's what it is. Ah, it's configured up like if he needed to hold like a bunch of groceries, he'd be set because he could just clip them in here and it's already up here, you know. And I think it happened. Uh, I forget. Somebody told me how. Go kart wreck. No, that'd be hilarious, though. He was, uh, what was he doing? Oh, yeah, because they told him, you know, put whatever he was trying to steal back. And he was trying to steal them damn, those eggs in the jar, those pickled eggs or whatever. God almighty. <laughs> like, was he trying to steal them one time or the whole jar? Whole jar. Oh. Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, just let him have them. No one wants those. And, They've been uh, in there since I was 11 years old. Let yeah. him have them. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the, I asked him, I said, uh, his name's Randy? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Didn't, didn't know that. They are like, yeah, he, he's a good guy, but he kind of, he's unwell. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, don't you see his fucking arm? I said, well, yeah, but I didn't want to assume that. He was like, well, he's also, you know, mentally handicapped. I was like, oh, okay. Other than being mentally handicapped, physically handicapped, he's doing <laughs> what right. What's wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, has he always been that way or what happened to him? And they said, no, 
uh, a couple months ago, there was a guy over at Ingles. Randy was out there walking his horse. I said, all right, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs>